What's up guys, Fastback Saloon. I wanted to uh, come to you today and tell you about a very special car that I had the opportunity uh, to go and see. Uh, so I'm sitting at the house one day and a phone rings um, and it's a number that I don't recognize. It's uh, from a neighboring county, a different area code. I answer the phone, the guy says, I'm looking for someone with the Limestone County Mustang Club. I said, well, uh, you called the right number. I said, I'm the president. And he said, well, um, he said, I got a car and I'm looking for some help. And I said, all right, what you got? Cause I get calls like that a lot. You know, somebody's got a classic Mustang. Somebody's looking for a Mustang. He said, well, I've got a, I've got a Fox body Mustang. And he said, I'm looking for somebody in your club. He said, I understand uh, from your webpage that you guys are into restoring them and collecting them and going to shows and all that kind of good stuff. And I said, yes, sir, we are. I said, what you got? And he said, well, I've got a, a 93 a GT hatchback Fox body Mustang. Uh, and I said, okay, hey, sounds, I said, we've always got some folks looking for one. I said, we've got several folks in our club that uh, have that own uh, Fox body Mustangs. He said, well, it's got 131,000 miles. Uh, it's pretty much all original. Uh, he said, I've owned it for since 93. I said, wait a minute. I said, are you, are you, is it an original owner? He's like, well, I bought it off the dealership and it had about 4,000 miles on it. Uh, he said somebody had traded it back in. The dealership wasn't allowed to sell it as new. So they sold it to him as a demo. So I said, well, uh, you know, what color is the car? He said, red. He said it was my wife's car, it was her daily driver. And I said, well, let me ask you this. I said, what, what are you asking? For? Well, I said, is the car for sale? He said, yeah, I'd like for the car to go to an owner that could appreciate it and either restore it back to original or, or just, you know, make it really nice again. And I was like, hmm. Uh, I said, well, what are you asking for the car? And he, he gives me a price and I said, um, I'll be honest, sir. I said, I'm interested in buying the car. He's like, well, I'd love for you to have it. And so uh, we negotiated his location and a price. And uh, so I made arrangements in the next couple of days and I, and I drove down uh, my buddy Joe uh, and I went down and, uh, and picked the car up. It was a true carport find. You, you've heard about barn finds. Well, this was a carport. The car had been in his garage for, um, since 2014 uh he had a 2015 tag but he had not installed it so the car had not run in seven or eight years um and the good news was he had been cranking the car once a month until the battery died uh so you know the gas tank was good the fuel lines were good uh we got the car uh, loaded up we got it home um my uh, my buddy rusty my mechanic came over and looked at it and we checked all the fluids the transmission fluid uh, the car is an automatic um but it's a true gt car um it uh it had some uh some chrome um cobra r's on it uh, when we got it the, the rears were flat so we had to put some some 89 gt wheels on to get it home but we got it unloaded kind of started to assess what we had uh, then we, uh, like I said, we checked the oil, we checked the uh, radiator, we checked the gas tank and, um, Hey, we got a battery and we put in it and it fired right up. It was unbelievable. The motor was not smoking. The motor didn't knock. It idled good. Um, a little, little rusty, a little, little slow to get going. It, it didn't want to go in gear at first, but uh, once it kind of warmed up, the fluids warmed up and uh, we started to put it in gear a couple of times uh, and drove it around the block uh, the next morning and, and I was blown away. So what I want to do here on the channel is I want to, uh, I want to document uh, and do features on the mods and the upgrades and bringing this thing back to originality. It still had the original covers uh, the original air box, the original 1993 spark plug wires. Um, the car is completely unmolested, all original except for those wheels, which we've now replaced, uh, and Flowmasters. 
uh, which were rotted out. We're going to have to replace those. So, so hey, stay tuned here on Fastback Saloon as we document. Uh, I named the car Lucy uh, because Lucy Lucio Ball was a, a fiery, spunky little redhead, uh, and so uh, that's what I've named the car. So. So I look forward to bringing you videos and updates as we do some upgrades and just re restore the car back to original or do I modify it? I'm, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it has power windows, power door locks, power seat. Um, it's crazy, crazy. Uh, I've already got a Marty report on the car. Uh, it's not rare, but the cars are becoming more rare. So I look forward to sharing it here with you uh, as we do some stuff to the car. So uh, thanks for tuning in uh, and we'll see you down the road.